The sheer audacity of the bandits that launched the attack on the Nigerian Defense Academy is an indication that the line of not being worried has been breached. Not that other incidents of attacks in villages across the northern region is any less disturbing, but this incident hits a nerve of confidence in the efforts of the military to contain the situation. Nigerians are expecting us to bring about peace and security in concert with other security agencies. That we will do. We can't live in fear and we ensure that Nigerians, whatever bring fear to them before now, will be eating of the past. This optimism expressed by the Chief of Defense Staff was helpful in calming nerves, but when the security apparatus meant to protect citizens comes under attack, then the common man begins to wonder if the bandits can be defeated. A feeling heightened by the Kaduna State Governor, Nasir El Rufai. Our unanimous position is what is needed now is to wipe out the bandits. We must go into this forest. Nobody living in that forest is innocent and just kill them all. The same can be said of the police who have in recent times fallen victim of attacks on their stations. Cases of these happening in the east of the country. Here, the Inspector General of Police also speaks on quelling the matter. What is seriously worrisome in the southeast is gradually being checked and uh, results is very positive as to the attacks and killings on security agents, assets belonging to federal government, particularly that of the military, the police, INEC, and so forth. Our ability to checkmate these lawlessness has improved and we are getting uh, greetings everybody uh, they said Buari causes the Fulani bandits attack Nigeria Defense Academy and I saw some bloggers making fun of it they are talking about it and they are laughing. What are you laughing for? What exactly are you laughing for? They said some group of bandits attack our Nigeria Defense Academy. And they dare it. This is a disgrace, a shame to the nation. A shame to the nation that some group of criminals have the mind to attack Nigeria Defense Academy. You know, when you say they attack some military base in Delta, in Lagos, in Ocean State, in Edo State, in Delta State, in Imo State, maybe I was, it's not even good. I will understand and say, oh, these people, they are the gods. But now, they attack Nigerian Defense Academy. Why? Because there are these northern politicians that is telling people to do what they are doing now. This is what they are doing these things because they know the people that is backing them, people that is encouraging them, people that is giving them mind to do it. Go and do it and nothing will happen. Kidnap people there. And the body will pay the money. It is a it is a it is a plan work. How can how can bandits? You can go to the market and attack people. You can go to the school. You 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 go to schools. Now, the you 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 you, you went to Nigeria Defense Academy, and some some bloggers or some I'm not going to, or some. Jokers, I call them jokers, call the, who call themselves comedians. They are making video about this thing and laughing. What are you laughing for? What the fuck are you laughing for? This is not funny. This is a serious matter. Very serious matter. You know, when we tell people that the truth is what that will set us free, some people think, you know, we are attacking them. 
Buhari is a failed president. This man came to destroy the country, not just the country, to destroy people, to destroy lives. Shagari was, Shagari was a Fulani president. Yadua was a Fulani president. Ever since this man came to power, he always papa criminals. As far as the criminal is from, his, his, his from the north, he always papa criminals. He encouraged them, he paid them money. They said these guys that attack Nigeria Defense Academy now, asking for 200 million. 200 million. This is a business. It's a business. They are asking for 200 million. Buhari did not fail, not, not insecurity alone. Buhari have failed in all aspects of governance. That is just the truth. Some people will come and say, Be a train track, Be a train track there. Buhari is paying governors, allocation is not owing any, but we are not talking about governors and allocation now. We are talking about the president, the governors in our states. They have fed us. They are the same because you saw Buhari. Uh, 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 son's wedding. They were all there romancing each other there. We are not talking about governors now. We are talking about the fair president. Buhari is not even fit to be a counselor, not to talk of local government chairman. Did Buhari promise you, promise to tackle his security 2015 and 2019? Are we secure now? This is a fair president. If these people can have the mind, the goals to go and attack Nigeria, Defense Academy, we are at war. You see the nonsense these guys are vomiting. Uh, you will no longer stay uh, live in fear. We are going to undo it. We are going to fight them. Stupid talk. Stupid press. Uh, 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 giving the speech. Senseless, useless talk. Stupid talk. Buhari have come to, to destroy that country. Buhari, Buhari is there to just to do the full and he That's it. A government, a president that will say, I won't leave office a failure. He will not leave office a failure. Some of you don't even understand what he's trying to say. How can a president already a complete failure will come and be telling you you will not leave office a failure what are, what are you talking about you are failed already you should know that you don't understand what he's trying to say what he's trying to say he was talking to his full and king's man the original plan is to take over your land give them your land for ruga give them your land to rear their cows this is what they have been doing for six years now it's about a cow a ruga cow land ruga cow meanwhile other reasonable countries talking about education talking about technology how to invent how to make life better for their people all we discuss all we talk about in nigeria is uh, cow Fulani has man for six years. We have seen a Fulani president before. It's not the first. So he was talking to his Fulani kinsmen. The original plan is Buhari must do whatever he can to uh, you know uh, uh, grab land for them. Is that not what I've been saying? I said in South, you need to be united. That's what I, I've been making video about this thing. I said, you can't you see the... I make a video about this thing a few, a few, uh, a few weeks ago now. I said, you, when that idiot, some uh, another youth came and said, oh, the power will not come to the South. I said, no. Not that they are greedy. They know immediately before they leave office, the, 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 the possibility of the South, we in the South giving them land, that possibility is finished. They can't get that land. That is the reason they keep, they are the one bothering Buhari. What about the land for six years? Let him give us land. We need the land. That is the reason why Buhari is telling them. If Buhari, if we refuse to give Buhari uh, uh, that land for them, it means Buhari is a failure to them. Buhari is not talking to the whole country. He knows already a failure. He's talking about, he's talking to his people. 
that they should not worry. Can't you see? He always read, raised this idea, land, bring land. About seven to eight states in the north said, grazing is the best. Kanu said, grazing is the best. I mean, a uh, 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 ranch, I mean to say, ranch is the best. Ranching is the best. Even in Castina, the governor said, the dead said, ranching is the best. But the body is the one keep it on, who keep on saying, um, land, bring land, bring land, bring land. How can he tell you he will not leave office a failure? He is already a failure. What do you mean you will not leave office a, you not leave office a failure? Body is fighting, he's doing whatever he can to allocate our land to his kiss man. And that will not work. That is what he's doing. President, has, uh, you are you already a fake president. Now your kids look. They uh, they still have students in the bush in the forest. They kidnap people left and right. Who is secure in that country? Today? There is no day that pass we hear people die in Nigeria. No day that no. It is every day bad and sad news every day in Nigeria. Uh, you think this will change? This will not change. I know some some monkeys now from the east, IPOB fools, bingos. They will come here and I begin to put their mouth on something that is none of their business. You are fighting for Igbo supremacy. You are stupid. My guy, you people live here, go and face your 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 IPOB uh, go and face that. that fuck, get the fuck out. We have problem in Nigeria. Don't need to be addressed. I don't have time for your nonsense. Go and jubilate. You kill uh, my brother. Uh, Gunam. Go and jubilate. Uh, you will. My land is yes now. Be Afra. Oh, yeah, be Afra. You are, you are senseless. Come, carry on. Come and take land. So I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about Nigeria. We are still in Nigeria. Do we like the Nigeria? No. I keep saying it here, Nigeria will work. I don't sure. I'm not I don't think Nigeria will ever work. The tribalism is too much. We are different people, different culture. The the mindset of the people in the in the south different from the mindset of the people in the north. It will not work. It would have been better. Everybody go their own separate way. But not by propaganda and lies. You monkeys in the house, happy you be bingos. Go and study Buari nose, Buari ear. No, you don't belong here. Because you, you people are senseless. Go and study the nose. Eh? Go and stay focused on sit down, sit down. Get the fuck out of here. You don't belong here, my guy. You people are the, you are part of the problem in that country. If not your, your, your brother, good, you don't sit down to do this style of government. Will uh, will uh, not come and tell me who's the oil in my in my state? It is unitary government. Your brother introduce it, so they can come and say they own the uh, the oil, whatever the mineral resources is in my land. Your brother make it so. So keep your mouth in the permanent position of like this. Keep it. Don't talk. You can fool those who can fool. Not me. We are not fighting for the same thing. When we criticize government like this, you think we are saying.